Hi everyone, this is Brenda with Argy's Back Road Adventures. Um, today we're here at Cadron Valley Cemetery, established in 1861. There is a little bit of history that I do have of the cemetery here. There are actually Indian burials here in unmarked graves, and there are two slave graves here that are unmarked. So we're going to take a tour of the cemetery, and we're going to take you along. Okay, we're going to take a look at some of these graves. The first ones, of course, that have just really popped out to us are these two of these unknowns here. And then there are several, actually, unmarked graves. As you look down in that area, you will see these stones. The actual, just the stones there without a headstone. And then we have one here that's a mason, and it looks like a cardin, C-A-R-D-I-N. And this one's, well, this one looks like it's 1844 to 1924. And we do have a special guest with us today, Miss Fox. Say hi, Miss Fox. No, they want to see that. Security! <laughs> That's a baby. 1889 to 1899, 10 years old, all. Yeah, he's 10. Yeah, he's 10. That's military, that's military. That's military. There's some old ones out here. That's all I'm put up for. Them. May 20th. Got out early too. 18, 15, 1852 to 1910. It looks like these are the cardinals. That's what this is right here in this area. It is. Mm -hmm. Usually when they're military, well not, oh, they're Mason. They're Mason? See the symbol right here? This is, a, oh, it is. Yeah. the Mason symbol. Yeah, it's a G. Yep. Okay. And this is 1842 to 1918. 19, this is 1918? 1918. Wow. Yeah. Another wood. Nineteen forty. Morris. Eighteen forty seven, nineteen oh nine. Wow. William Franklin. So that's a new headstone. So what they're doing is someone's actually... Upgrading a little maybe? Yep. I've noticed that. That there are some family members that will come back out and, and put new stones out. And it looks like they're the... They're all of the Edgman family. But then... You've got some more stones over here that show that there's unmarked graves here. Now, eighteen eighty-two to eighteen eighty-six. So that one was four. Oh. It looks like June are. Um. Well, the last name is Cardin, and it says only it sleeping is. at the very bottom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's another Cardin. Mm-hmm. 
It looks like uh, 1914 from here, but I can't see the born the date. The bottom. the bottom date looks like 1914. To 1914? Yeah. Oh, well then that one was like 12. Yeah. Well, you see how many unmarked graves there are here? There's five back there. That's all of the bricks, as I know. Okay, well that's where the um, slaves are supposed to be buried. It didn't say anything about how many of the Native Americans mm. or, um, yeah, were buried yeah. here, but yeah. they're unmarked, and there's quite a few unmarked graves here. Okay, here's Clyde Shepard, U.S. Army World War II. Thank you for your service. There's another unknown. And I got just a brick with unknown. Baby son of Mr. Korean War. Got these two unknowns. 1820 to 1878. That's an old one. Okay, we're going to do a spirit box. See if we can get somebody to talk to us. I got my spirit box going. Button. Okay, is there any Native American out here? I don't know if you can speak my language. If you are, please say hello. Talking to his box. Hi. Now we have a lot of graves out here that are unmarked. I believe there's a couple of slaves and then some Indians. <coughs> oh yeah. And he's doing something. There's a Morrison here. I thank you. Nation. Which nation? Are you all from the Indian nation? Our family an in a little ball for y'all to play with if you want to play with it. Guess what? Are you here? You going to talk to me? Five thousand. Five thousand Indians. The act. Somebody want to say hello? What's your name? My other spirit box gadget. I guess nobody wants to play with my little butter. Oh no. That's probably the, just the initials of the person. Yeah. Son of Sims. Somebody Sims. Born 18, I can't read that. Oh, this ain't November. 
was that 13th or 18th? Died November 20th. Mm -hmm. We should have been there last time. Lemon looks like it's 1808 or 1818. And then you have another stone right here at the base of the tree. It's just sitting there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That'll cost me. Look at that tree, though. Look I know. how wide it is. With you that know, that was right an there. old tree. Man. I mean, look at that cedar tree over there. You don't see cedar trees here that get that big. That is just huge. So these trees have been here a long time. Look at the one over there. Oh, that one? Yeah. Danny's on the Mm-hmm. Man, I can almost tell you that's by the width of the tree. Mm -hmm. That's at least 200 and a half years old. Like the that's a very old tree I for sure. I know when first planted the trees in our, hand, our yard, it was like that big. Mm -hmm. And I went back and it was like, you can judge it by because I remember what date they planted. It was in 1970. And yeah, I well, what I read online was is that the the slaves were buried in the southeast corner. So that may be them back there, right next to that tree, or close to the tree, anyway. These could have been favorites. Mm-hmm. Oh, Joy Bailey, newborn, born. Seven of nineteen seven on uh, nineteen oh seven died in January of nineteen thirty. Mm -hmm. Well, that's twenty three. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So it's a newborn of the person. Yes. Not, yeah. Not, that's not. The yeah. Person. No, that's the baby's name, Joy Bailey. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I I just can't get over how many unknowns there are in the cemetery. Mm-hmm. See, that's another one that says unknown. Oh, right there? Yep. They're male. Benny Cambridge. He was Korean War. Korean War. To 1926 to 2001. And this one, David Claw. Claw Etter, U.S. Air Force, Vietnam. 1947 to 1984, 1869 to 1962. That's amazing. Let's go back here. I want to do a spirit box section back here because baby son of Mr. and Mrs. Mistress Harden. Harden? Born trying to stand in the sun. Let's see if we can block it and see if we can see it. Yeah. This one says, get out of here. Mm. Born and died in 1929. Mm. Okay, and this one you can read just a little better. It's the baby son of Mr. and Mrs. Jess Harden Harlan. Born and died in 1939. Mm. Or is it 39 or 31? 39. Okay. But still, um, which one got out of here first? That one. This one. Mm-hmm. Well, that's almost a back to back, right? Yep. Look, both of them are pretty nice. Born and died on the same day. No, this is 1932. That's 1929. Yeah, so a few years later. That one first, and then that one. Yeah. Oh. Korea, U.S. Army. April 23rd, 1931 to November 20th, 2012. So we have these two back here that, if I'm thinking correctly, are supposed to be the... From what I understand, what the website said was that the slaves that were buried here were in the southeast corner, and that's where we're at now. So, what I really want to try to do is a spirit box session, so just be patient with me. I'm going to get my spirit box out. Hello, my name is Brenda. 
I come in peace. I wanted to come and uh, speak with you. Was there anyone here that would like to speak with me today? I'm not here to harm you. I come with love and respect. Let's see if I can turn my box up just a little. <laughs> I'm sorry, can you tell me what your name is? No, it's... Can you tell me your name? Does it bother you that you're buried in a grave that is not marked? Sabrina. Is this Sabrina? Are you looking for Sabrina? Appreciate it. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. Could you repeat that? Think we think I know you're trying to I know you're trying to talk to me and I do apologize if I don't understand you. I will go over this when I get home to check and see if there's anything that I'm I missed and I do apologize for that. But please feel free to speak to me. All you have to do is speak into the box. Mm -hmm. Are you upset that you're uh, resting in a grave that's not marked? NASCAR. NASCAR? Did you like NASCAR? Informed. Mm -hmm. Good second. Can you tell me your name? Edge. Edge? Yours? Yeah? I want to die. Why do you want to die? E your mission. What is your mission? Are you in peace on the other side? Ann. Is your name Ann? I love... You love... And... 25. Were you 25 when you passed away? I hear you trying to come through. Bring it to Pinero. Are with you are you with your family on the other side? Incredible. Incredible? Have you met God? Have you been judged on the other side? No. Are you in heaven? Are you in heaven? Are the two people buried here in these unknown graves? Are they here? Can you tell me what your name is? I understand that there were um, two p 
people who were slaves that are buried Stop here. Life. Are you in peace? <laughs> Were you separated from your family at any point? Were you separated from any of your family members? People future. Are you together now on the other side? Black red. You charge the most. Why? You're built. Just continue. Is there anything else you'd like to say? I'm just gonna sit and just sit and I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. What were you saying? Okay, I'm gonna say goodbye for now and, uh, uh, and bye. And I'll uh, try to speak with you again later. Thank you for speaking with me. Rest in peace. You keep asking the There's John, Philip Paul, World War One vet. <clears throat> Thank you for the service. Vietnam vet, Purple Heart. World War Two. Another unknown. It's my unknown guy. I just love your son very much right there. That's pretty neat. The Korean exactly. War. Engineer. There's the baby. It's hard to read them. Oh, Bailey's. Army Chemical Warfare Service. War II Civilian Tech. Thank you for your service for chemical warfare. Captain U.S. Army, World War II. Thank you for your service. U.S. Marine, Vietnam era. Sergeant. Marine Corps. Oh, Lance Corporal. U.S. Marine Corps. Purple Heart, Operation Iraqi Freedom. Thank you for your service. Private U.S. Army World War II. Yep. I'll tell you mine if you tell me yours. I had to go ahead and turn the recorder back on because as we're sitting here having a conversation in this beautiful pavilion in this graveyard, our EMF meter has started going off. So we're going to see if we can get that on camera. Well, let's go. Where do you want to go? Can you at least tell me your name? Can you say it again? Went all the way to red on that one. Yep. Tell me your name. That's an unusual bird. It's an unusual thing. Yeah. How old are you? I see you trying. I see you trying. So you're trying pretty good. Can you tell me your name? Man, you're making these lights jump. Move your stuff back, baby. I want to move that just to make sure that it's not interference from the electronics. We're just going to be sure, but it's still going off. Just to be sure. I'm going to get a little bit further away from the phone. 
Mm. Yep. And went all the way to red on that one. So is your name like Andy? Is your name Andy? No? Maybe Sam? Can you tell me your name? Are you with your family? Are you with your family right now? Are we a part of your family? Okay, are we done talking? Did you say you want Elf? So are you Indian? Yes. Awesome. You liked your parents. How cool are you? I kind of like mine too. I kind of do. Do you have other siblings out here with you? yours. Don't worry, I'll wait. I'm trying to tell you. Sweet. If you're Native American, would you please light up this device right here? Can you make it go to red? Thank you. With the yellow. Three? Are you locked in somewhere? They see. They see. What do they see? I thought I heard flesh. I thought I heard death. Death. Okay, so you are you going to tell me your name? I'm friendly. I don't bite. I just want to talk to you. I am so happy. Oh, my camera started going blurry. And then the millimeter st started uh, flashing. Look, mm -hmm. it's flashing yellow. Oh, yellow. So if you go ahead and make it flash red, I'll keep talking. I like talking to you. Talk to free your ones I took here. You still there? Flash. Suspect boy here. Oh my goodness. Are you there? Okay, I see you. I saw the light blinking. I went to red. Okay, that means you're really here. Good job. So you say you have some siblings here, right? You got siblings here? I got siblings. It's, it's six of us. How many siblings do you have? Today is, what's today's date? They asked what today's date is. Today is March, is it the 15th? 16th. March 16th. Lewis, your name is Lewis? This is April, honey. I mean, April. I'm April. sorry. <laughs> today's April 16th. For the person that inquired. Do you know what year it is? 
This is 2023. What year were you here? Thank you so much for joining us on our journey today. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Um, this is Brenda and Danny and our special guest Bridget. And we'll catch you on the next, uh, the next outing. Please hit the like and subscribe and the notification bell so that you'll know uh, when our next video drops. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a great day.